What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new Blackwood event that will be starting here in a few days. Before I get into that, I wanted to give you guys a quick channel update. Most of you know if you've been around the channel for a while, uh, we are purchasing a new home. We're actually closing on that house tomorrow. Uh, the internet company that I'm getting is a different company that I have now. Uh, it's actually fiber internet a lot faster than what I have now. What I have now is fast, but it's even better. And they said it may be the end of the week or into next week before they can get that hooked up. Plus, I'm going to be moving, unpacking, all that good stuff. So you may not see any videos after today on the channel until maybe the weekend or at the latest, the end of next week. I'm going to try to get back as fast as possible. But with all this moving and everything going on, I really haven't had time to kind of prepare any just, you know, kind of backup videos just to throw up while I'm not on. Sadly, I was wanting to do that, but it just not, did not work out. I've been really busy over the last month. So if you guys can kind of just bear with me for the next week or so, everything will get back to normal and the videos will be uploaded daily like always. I appreciate all of you that always hang out and watch every day and comment. So thanks for that. I just kind of want to let you guys know exactly what's going on if you don't see a video for the next week or so. So this new Blackwood event will be starting on September the 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern and running until October the 12th at 10 a.m. Eastern. This is going to be a normal event plus a community style event. It says, during this event, you and your fellow ESO players can work together to unlock incredible new rewards by earning the Blackwood Pathfinder achievement. To do so, simply visit six unique uh, striking locals in the zone, and every day we'll update the meter found on the Bounties of Blackwood page. With, this commu with the community's ongoing progress, once the meter hits 100% or the event ends, they will add rewards to the Crown Store in a single bundle for all Blackwood owners. So these rewards are kind of broken down into different percentages. You can get the Swamp Jelly Pet at 33%, the Blackwood Markings unlocked at 66%, and a Cascading Bounty Box unlocked at 100%, which has really has two really good rewards in it. With a Cascading Bounty Box, you get a chance to uh, get items such as Undaunted Plunder, Rare Materials, or Item Sets. But you're gu it's guaranteed to include a tunable crafting station and a unique target dummy, which is absolutely awesome. So you're going to get an attunable crafting station and a unique target dummy as long as the community can get to 100% by the 12th of October. They said there's also going to be a fourth mystery prize that will be revealed during the Gates of Oblivion year-end stream. So we're going to get something, uh, if we get to 100%, they're going to give us another uh, kind of mystery prize. But we won't get to know what that is until the Gates of Oblivion year and stream goes live. Also, during this event, you can go, of course, and do things in the Blackwood Zone itself. There will be an introductory quest, as always, in the Crown Store. Of course, we can get coffers from this event. You will get one glorious coffer per day. This has chances to get things like crafting materials, valuables you can trade to merchants for gold, style items from Blackwood motifs, Blackwood gear items, treasure maps or survey reports, Blackwood motif chapters, a fragment of the Vorplasm pet, combine seven of those to summon your pet, of course the Blackwood themed furnishing and furnishing recipes, and if you have Bastion or Miri active while you're doing this stuff, you can get also a piece of companion gear from these coffers. It says if you continue to complete daily quests after the first one where you get the glorious uh, Blackwood coffer, you can continue to get just normal Blackwood coffers, kind of like every other event we've had in the past if you ever played or participated in any of those, which have a lower chance to contain the rare rewards. And you can get these by doing things as drops from Delves and World Bosses, earned when completing Oblivion Portals as drops from Blackwood Monsters, uh, found in treasure chests, safe boxes, thieves' troves, psychic portals, or other containers, or found when harvesting, crafting, resource nodes. In addition to all that, the weekly uh, quest or the weekly Rock Grove trial and daily quest have their regular uh, reward boxes doubled, so you're going to get double reward for those. And harvest nodes will also be increased. You'll actually get extra drop from harvest nodes. World public dungeon trial and delve bosses drop additional rewards as well. Besides that, we're also going to have the event uh, going on where you get an event ticket. So there's going to be a lot of stuff going on this event. It's going to be a big event. Kind of, kind of, kind of in my opinion, to end the year is kind of what they're doing here uh, or kind of how it looks. It's going to be a really cool, fun event, I think, for a lot of people. During this event, you can earn up to two event tickets per day the first time you complete a Blackwood Daily. So all you have to do is earn a, uh, do a Blackwood Daily to earn two tickets. And you can earn a total of 26 tickets during this event, of course. Uh, the cap is the same as always. There's only You only can hold 12 tickets at a time, so make sure that you're not uh, hitting that cap because anything you earn after 12, you'll lose. So make sure that you're spending your tickets. 
and the event vendor will have the unstable morpholite base fragments all of those all three fragments for the uh the the new mount of uh, the new griffin mount also uh, some vorplasm pet fragments assorted blackwood themed furnishings and group repair kits so this is going to be a really good event a lot of things going on here we have event tickets we have you know coffers and things you can do get from doing stuff within the blackwood zone and also that community event where we can get that really cool prize at 100 percent and a hidden prize that they have not revealed yet at 100 uh, percent that we'll hear about later on down the road anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.